All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So as you can see, the wheel has been painted. Sample looks good. Color looks good. Uh, it's real nice and bright, but it's not too goldy and it's not too bronzy. So now um, it's time for me to paint the other wheels because uh, I was trying to get them done tonight. So tomorrow morning I could take the uh, 11 element to discount tire to go ahead and uh, mount the uh, tires. And then we'll have to pick what kind of tires we want. We were hoping to get something meaty, so we'll see what they have in stock. But this is one of the... Uh, Next steps, I gotta wash these wheels, get them ready. I'm gonna build one more jig for one wheel because on this one jig that I have, the stand, I can put two wheels. One wheel here, one wheel there. And I could probably make an extension to that one and put another wheel here. Uh, I'll figure it out right now. So this is one of the reasons why my garage is a mess too because I'm slowly cleaning stuff out, old projects that I have to do. And this is one of those things that needs to get done. So we need to get them out. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash them real quick and then uh, we'll start uh, cleaning them to paint them. All right, let's get going. All right, guys, the wheels are all washed up and cleaned up. And now that they're washed up, like I said on the other video, I did use the same stuff. The only difference is I use some of this purple power stuff because it seemed to help a little uh, more. The simple green was great, but the purple power really pushed the uh, limits. And I got these huge red scuff pads. They were amazing. So now that I washed them up and I got them all cleaned up with that stuff, I'm going to go ahead and get them dried out. And then I'm going to clean them real good sand down the little dry spots or the shiny spots that they have you can see them right there and then once i do that i'm gonna go ahead and paint them let them dry overnight and then tomorrow we might go to discount tires and get our tires mounted and uh this uh should be looking good pretty soon all right let's keep going all right so here they are all three wheels are prepped up cleaned up and uh taped up ready to paint got the little caps right here and then uh, everything's ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and spray them real quick. And then uh, we're going to have some fun real quick. So let's see how this goes. Now remember, safety first. Always wear your mask. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and mask up and I'll be ready to go. All right, guys. So there's a small detail I forgot. So they only had two cans of the gold flake that I need. And they had two cans of this other color. So... I can't wait for another can. I have to do this tonight because I need to mount the wheels tomorrow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these two cans that are a little darker as a base color. And then once I base them out, I'm going to use these other cans to come over and finish the coat. And that way the color is exactly the same and there's no big difference. So remember, that's a little painter's trick. If you ever get in a bind, just base coat it with something different. And then you could use your original color and you'll use less paint. Or if you can't find one, I didn't want to drive another 30 minutes to go get the color that I needed. So this is the way I'm going to do it. And I know it'll work because I've done it before. All right, guys, so this will be my base color. And uh, I'm going to let it dry for about maybe 15 minutes. And then I'm going to come back and do the actual color. There is a big difference in that color to the actual color. This right here, this right here is the actual color. As you, as you can see, it's a little more gold. And that one's got a little more orange tone to it. So I kind of like this one better. This is the one that I like a little better. So obviously, I want to go with that. And this is the color that we use for a base. But by the time I'm done, all four of them look alike. I'm not worried about it. So let's keep going.
guys, there it is. Uh, I did the two cans already of gold, or the uh, copper gold or gold flakes, and the uh, rims look amazing. So now that they're done, I'm gonna go ahead and let them dry overnight. Hopefully the humidity won't be that bad, and they'll be dry in the morning, and then I can go ahead and take them to discount tires and mount them. But for right now, they do look really good inside and out. The color came out really nice and the base did help. Those are the caps right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the emblems probably in this bronze color also. So this is a test out. I'll probably take the original ones off and paint them in the same color. So the all the badges will match the uh, wheels. And then I'll do some gunmetal black on the uh, grill and that little filler piece on the trunk panel. So yeah, guys, they look good. So... Go ahead and subscribe, follow us, uh, and uh, thanks for watching. I'm going to go ahead and let these dry overnight. It's about 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night right now. So I'm going to go in, take a shower, and go to sleep. But uh, here they are, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay in your element. Take it easy, guys.